Vaz here, and I'm going to be showing you five tactics to be speeding up your jailbroken device. All right, so the first thing you want to do is download these programs. It's going to be iCleaner or iCleaner Pro. And basically, they do the same thing. Um, they're not that much different. I don't, I don't know the difference between the two. But I have the regular one, and it does perfectly fine for me. Um, basically, it lets you delete all the cache and cookies and all that stuff and unneeded stuff that you really don't need on your jailbroken device. So all the stuff that's making your stuff slow will be deleted. And uh, after that, it will respring your device, and you will see very good results. All right. The second thing I want to talk to you guys about is clean up crap. And basically what that does is it, it does the same thing as iCleaner, except it just does a little bit more boosting to it. Um, but for this tweak, you will need to have mobile terminal. And um, I'll have that on the right side or the left side. You already know that I have right there. So, yeah. Um, so I'll show you right now where to get it. And you just go to Cydia, type in clean up crap and it'll be right here clean up crap cuc and like i said you will need mobile terminal for it to work so what you do you go to mobile terminal and what you do is you type in login root pass the password that you start off with um the default is alpine but i changed mine so yeah that's why mine's different and um what you want to type in is cuc and it'll say updating database. And um, I did this about five minutes before I even started this video, so I don't need to do it again. But basically it does the almost the same thing as iCleaner, but it's just a little bit different. You will see the results as it goes down, but I won't show you that because I am making this video and I do not want to make it as long as I anticipated. So yeah. All right, the third thing you can do is, as you can see, I do not have Winterboard on here. I just recently deleted it because I did something bad on my phone yesterday where I had to restore it and all of that and it just messed everything up but I noticed that Winterboard was making everything slow because all of the um, built-in stuff that Winterboard has even if you don't download any themes um, it slows down your phone like dramatically so what you can do is just use no themes if you if you do love themes then yeah go ahead I don't mind like go go right at it but right now I'm not using themes because it makes it faster for a display recorder and just in general so yeah the fourth thing you can do is use sb settings and basically uh, in sb settings you need to scroll all the way down until you see mobile substrate add-ons and um basically you, you can just read the red part i'm not going to say all this cause i'm trying to make this short but um you can disable the stuff that you do not use um i kind of don't know what it's for i've seen this on a page in safari so i was like whatever take a crack at it and it did speed up the thing I will um I will post what that ad said in um in the description or probably on the right or left side of the video so you can just understand why because I don't I don't remember why and I don't feel like going to Safari and showing you the page because I am lazy. All right, <laughs> the fifth thing I want to talk to you guys about is Speed Intensifier and I think I already made a review on this, but um it was either that or Accelerate. It was one of those two, but um Speed Intensifier is just like Accelerate ex Accelerate except for it does it for everything um, and basically says quadruple your expectations um, if you want a better a better way of expressing it then what you can do is you can get winterboard and you can download the speed and sense fire add-on uh, I think that'll be the sixth thing on the right side and um, basically that um, it has overclock and underclock if you want to make it slower or faster but for me right now, I just uh, have the uh, the regular app speed intense fire. I don't have the add-on; it's fine. But what I did, what I what I did was I set it onto plus eight, and that's pretty fast for me. I don't want to set it on fastest because I I still love seeing the animations. Just you know, I don't want it like 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 that. You know, I don't want it that fast. I mean, that'll be cool and all, but like still, like I still want to see the animations. Um, all right, guys. Well, that's it for this video. Stay tuned to the next videos, and I will see you guys later. All right. I almost forgot about this, but I have one tweak to show you guys, and it is called Cydia Patch. And basically what Cydia Patch does is it automatically brings you back to Cydia without, you know, um, reloading and all that, reloading data and loading and stuff like that. And it comes really much in handy because... Like, I hate going into Cydia and seeing, 
loading, 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 loading. And it gets really annoying after a while if you have to keep reloading data all the time, even if it goes fast. I don't really care, but I just hate that. So what you do is you go to Cydia, and you have to add a source, I believe. I think I added it yesterday. You have to add Repo Cydia, so that's repocydia.com slash in your um, managing sources. And then um, you want to download Cydia patch. Um, and this works perfectly, and I love it, and I basically just told you about the description. But it works, and I love it.